Scorpio. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is all about you. Uh, this is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign energies. It's an energetic reading for the next seven days out. We're actually, wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies in. Remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your reading. We're going to do a full oracle card spread here for an energetic reading. And then we're going to... Um, then I'm going to provide the full tarot card spread to go into depth in the extended. That link is below and includes your romance forecast. Scorpio, this is your energy. Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Scorpio energies for the next seven days. Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Scorpio energies for the next seven days. Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Scorpio energies for the next seven days. Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign. Scorpio energies for the next seven days. Scorpio sun, moon, rising sign. Scorpio energies for the set next seven days. Scorpio sun, moon, rising sign. Energies for the next seven days. All right. Lots, lots of action with the cards. Spirit has a plan. So this is in the past. So there has already been groundwork laid for what you're about to experience over the next seven days. This is an energy of three plus five is eight. That is a feeling of destiny. There has been something that has been divined. And I feel like there's almost a sense of watching it from afar of it being set to play, like sitting back and watching things play out. So that this very well could be your energy of you sitting back and watching something play out over the next seven days that you had predicted and wanted, that you had predicted was going to happen, that you could see from a mile away something was going to happen. Or this is spirit sitting back and watching something play out for you that it saw, that it saw was going to happen, that it, that it, that it set up. Right? This, this is, this is the timing. This is when the things were all supposed to come back to a head. And now all it is, is just about sitting back and watching all of these things play out, clear out the clutter. This is when things end. This is when things are, you are able to let go of something. This is when the past stops and the new starts. This is that destined turnover. This is that maturing energy of you being able to decide where you go and what you feel and have control over your emotions. This is an advanced sort of emotional stability card. It's not a little, the frog isn't a tadpole anymore. It's grown up. It's grown beyond being affected or influenced or basically, um, you know, uh, basically um, being at the whim of the tides, right? Now it's not. It can go above water. It can go underneath water. It can jump. It has a lot more control of itself, but there is something that it's holding on to that it needs to let go of in order to really complete its development. Well, this is the time. I can see you sitting back watching and seeing things unfold, like watching things from afar unfold that you saw from five miles away or from five years away. This is a sense of watching somebody finally get over something that they should have gotten over years ago, but it's all in their divine timing, right? It's all in the timing of, so this is either happening to you or, or you are the one sitting back and watching this all play out and seeing somebody finally willing and ready to be able to let go and do what is actually more aligned with spirit, uh, do what is healthier for themselves, do what is better for themselves. This is you watching that next step happen that maybe at some point you felt in doubt would ever come to pass. So that's really, really beautiful, interesting, and as well, intense energy. Let's get into it, reclaim your power. So this is you seizing back your energy. So I think a little bit of comeuppance is happening here. You're finally, Scorpio, now able to, over the next seven days or so, it could it could bleed into the week after as well. A sense of, um, I'm not, no, it's not, it's because it's not, I told you so. But it is a sense of validation. 
a sense of, I could see this coming. I saw this coming. And, you know, I was probably called crazy. I was probably called ridiculous. I was probably called insane by a lot of people. But I kept calling it. I kept calling it. And then after a while, I stopped calling it because I got sick of being tread on and rolled over and smacked with dirt in my face and insulted and called crazy because I realized I didn't have to keep announcing it anymore. What was going to come to pass was going to come to pass. And it was in letting go and just letting spirit take over that you actually reclaimed your power. You reclaimed, it's not that you aren't right and you're going to get some validation this coming week that you were in fact correct. But the bottom line is you reclaimed your power by letting go and letting spirit just take over because yelling and screaming and gripping and clawing was not doing you any good. It wasn't getting you anywhere. It was doing nothing but hurt you. And in fact, you reclaimed and took back those um, integral parts of who you are, your energy. You, you, you got it back. You got that sense back. This is almost like something also an energy of coming out of the shadows. Um, something like, um, like, like having foreseen it or something coming to light that other people were having trouble seeing. Um, four plus four is the energy of eight, which is once again, also destiny, which played a major role in your crowning energy. Whoa, interesting stuff going on here. Scorpio, you are never alone. Okay. So at the very least, this is a card that indicates something is hitting very close to home and very close to your heart and something that's hitting very close to your family. This could be finally somebody, uh, you, this could be somebody reclaiming power over an addiction, over a drug addiction, somebody going into rehab, somebody finally able to get that monkey off their back. This could be the energy of somebody finally being able to stick up to their abuser. This could be the energy of somebody finally walking away from an abusive relationship. This is somebody reclaiming their strength back and re-establishing a a true connection to love, a connection to true love, a connection to what love really is, remembering what love really felt like instead of something that was toxic, that was draining you. Um, a beautiful sort of opening to health, to nurturing, to balance. Um, freedom is yours. Yeah, somebody's definitely gotten out of a horrible relationship. I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody that is close to you, but you're finally free. You're free of all the tethers and all the ties that not only were, were being kept on you from somebody else, but really ultimately you. You were the one that was keeping yourself there. The decisions that you were making, or you were watching this happen to somebody that you really loved. The decisions that they were making repetitively, holding them down, down keeping them back and hurting them. Three plus three is six. This is six as well. This is the energy of divine counterparts, soulmates, the lovers in the tarot card for me. So that's the energy of, I think, finally finding balance and coming into your full sense of self. And that's actually what helps you get free. Um, so this is, it, it could be your joy and happiness at somebody else finally saving themselves, somebody that you were worried about, somebody that you tried to intervene with, somebody that you were trying to save, somebody that you were trying to reach, or it could have been you yourself finally breaking those tethers of those unhealthy patterns or circumstances that were bringing you down. This is Aquarian energy. It is grounded energy for Aquarian. It's almost like the freedom you get from wisdom. It's the freedom you get from feeling the ground underneath your feet again. It's that clarity of mind that that comes with having solid roots. Oh, Scorpio, transformation is beautiful. This is a new stage of your life. Seeing somebody blossom into a butterfly or literally moving on, leveling up, going on to the next stage. You're not the caterpillar anymore. This is truly a beautiful time. Finding your place, finding uh, where you want to go, your direction, where you belong, really coming back into your true self and abandoning that false self. It's almost like, do you ever watch Superman? Well, Superman is actually Superman. The disguise is Clark Kent. 
You understand? This is your awakening, Scorpio, or somebody that you love awakening and coming into their full sense of self and who they really are by escaping whatever was those things that were holding them down and burdening them, right? Realigning to spirit and attaching themselves to spirit and that being not their tether, but their hook, their gravel hook that helped them like move out like Batman, like come up, right? But this is like, this is what I was saying about this card is you were never a caterpillar. You were always a butterfly. You just had to shed the caterpillar. And that's what this is about. It's like finally able to like shed that re unrelenting like trap that you were trapped in, that body that you were trapped in that was a caterpillar when it was never really you. I don't know why you were held there, but I do know that a part of it was your own fear. Um, or this person in your life, their own fear, um, their own um, um, bad patterns or bad decision making or, or, or yeah, just, just own sort of, it's almost like a twisted mindset feeling trapped when they re really weren't trapped, but they were trapped because there was mental entrapment kind of. So you're there, this is really the shedding of and becoming of your true complete transformed self and it's also the card of awakening a, a truly liberating period of awakening of almost complete and total liberation and freedom that simply says whatever I have to give up I give up now I surrender it because what's in front of me and who I am requires it now and I'm ready this is like nothing is going to hold you back now um this could also be the energy of simply watching somebody grow up and watching somebody go away from you and uh, watching them become something more beautiful than you ever expected them to be able to become. Um, time to collaborate, starting back at one, and I want you to see these cards lined up. This is one, one, and then one, okay? Once again, that's Holy Trinity, if you add it all up to three. Simultaneously, this is 111, angel number for divinity and awakening and, and getting messages and spirit messages. It's like, it's like now you're finally getting it. Somebody's finally getting it. Something has finally broken through. The real message, the healing message, the truth, it's finally gotten through to somebody. Oh, God. Now, this is an indication of connection, communication, somebody finally being able to communicate with you or talk with you again, somebody finally being able or wanting to connect with you or communicate with you again, finally being able to uh, like connect, just work, work with somebody, finding somebody that you can work with, a partnership, some sort of partnership that's blossoming. Loyal, be loyal to what you love. Nine plus one is 10. That is the card of maturity. That is that pattern of now my next step is just to move on to the next level. So you are ready. You are at that peak. This is also loyalty of finding a partner that is truly loyal to you of or them waking up and realizing how loyal you are and how reliable you are and finally crediting you and being able to work with you, seeing you really finally for the for the real quality that you are because all the other fears have now been cast aside. It's, you've finally broken through. Be playful. Once again, six. This is a number of love. Being able to return to a sense of jovility and youth. Start in the shallows. Don't try to dive real deep, real quick. You don't have to. There's no need to rush this. Enjoy the sweetness that is the lightness from letting something go, from connecting with spirits and letting the heaviness go and letting, you know, let, let spirit take the wheel. Enjoy this playfulness. Just enjoy this time. Enjoy this time because it is a special, it's almost like a, a moment in a bubble. It's this precious little seven day period of light. Whoever knows what's going to happen after this, forget about what's happened before. Be here right now in this moment and just be jovial and happy to experience it. Oh, wow. Miracles are endless. Miracles are endless. And this is an abundance. This is being chosen. This is being selected. This is the steed of the gods when the hindi gods come out come on down they choose the cow to ride on so this is the steed the chosen steed of the gods this isn't a this is this is miracles it's almost a miraculous breakthrough scorpio i i don't know what kind of miracle you needed in your life but you're about to get it um surrender now to the divine this is being led like a moth to a flame 
or trusting in your emotions. Don't worry, there's always enough. This is Piscean energy and this is Sagittarius energy. Very opposite energy, but not really. They're both mutable energies. They're both willing to work. They're both willing to talk. They both bring people together. Um, they both have a sense of warmth to them. So it's like, yes, you're heading into something. In other words, this energy is usually just heading into something like a moth in the flame. No, this is about surrender and trust that you're not going to be headed into that flame, even if it looks like it. Shut your eyes down, turn your eyes off, just keep going in that direction because that's the direction you're supposed to go. You have enough, you will survive, you are protected. This is a sense of healing, of being able to be cooled down. Even if you flew too close to the sun, you'd have something to, a water to be able to wash you down. This is a sense of also opposites attracting. This is two energies two oppositional energies that are surprisingly harmonious together so Scorpio this is a tale of forbidden love forbidden romance or even just not even romance just like two opposite forces coming together and finally connecting it's like it's like that connection that you were looking for um really interesting energy and then grounding your reading is take a leap of faith and bring a gentle touch. This is asking you to take a leap of faith and love um, and to trust somebody, to trust, to trust, to trust them, to let, let go and trust them. Trust them that they're not going to go back to the drugs. Trust them that they're not going to go back to the abusive partnership. You know, I know this is a tender moment. moment. I know this is a scary moment. But if this is outside of you and not what you're personally experiencing, this is about trusting the person to do what they say they're going to do. And by trusting them, the gift of your trust is actually infusing them with the strength that they need to get by. You understand it's giving them the energy to be able to get through surrender to the here and now this is another one of the luckiest cards in the deck of of fortune smiling on your favor and this could be and we'll get into the romantic um predictions later but this could very well be of some sort of luck or revelation happening when it comes to a breakthrough when it comes to love and romance and connection with another person because you have partnership on the table as well so this could very well be an energy of something unexpected after this breakthrough happens meeting um meeting a soulmate or some sort of partnership or being aligned on that path to um oh to to really be loved there's so much destiny here it's it's really it, it, it's really crazy it's kind of like shocking me i really do do think this is more though this is like a tender person that needs you to just have faith in them that's what this message is and that's your grounding energy have faith in this very tender person they may be young they may be weak they may be vulnerable but have faith because spirit has got them it's time for you to let go let go and move on and expand the maturity has happened it's time for you to let go and let spirit take over because you've done all you can do and now it's time to just have faith oh scorpio there is a, a tremendous call for you to just let spirit take the wheel this week 150 percent. it's time for you to let go and believe in them let go and believe in them that's all i'm that's what i'm getting constantly over and over again i'm gonna go into the extended reading scorpio i will see you over there that link is below